What's up, everybody? It's Evan, also known as Intense Investor here, coming at you again late in the afternoon. Wanted to go over Hoge coin a little bit more, but specifically the Hoge NFTs, which are non fungible tokens, which can be created by users by uploading them. Um, if you go to Hoge Mint, hogemint.com, which you click on this link on the main hoge.finance website, it'll take you there. Uh, basically, you can upload your own image uh, tr to create an NFT, which is a very unique token. Um, the token will be delivered within 48 hours, uh, but it looks like uh, they were just doing a test mode and it was live until March 7th. So going back to what I said, uh, you know about that being delivered in 48 hours um, they're just running a test mode now but you know this this is going to go live again in the future and you'll be able to upload your own uh, picture you know make your own nfts non-fungible tokens like I, I was just talking about earlier um, it's pretty cool uh, it gets its own uh, address you can look at it on ethernet it's on the ethereum blockchain uh, you go to the FAQ, FAQ uh, it answers some questions about uh, how does non-fungible tokens work. You know, it tells you non-fungible tokens, a unique asset added to the blockchain, such that there can only be one of its kind. It's unique. Um, there's a big trend now in crypto with NFTs. Uh, you got some real big, uh, like, gaming nfts like mana decentral land you know like people buying land plots of land for like hundred thousand dollars it's really crazy it's really blowing up uh <clears throat> there, there's some other nfts that are really big also out there so you know but hoge there's a great opportunity here with hoge for it to grow into something much bigger much greater um, you know, with, with other partnerships also. All right, guys. So I was just talking about, uh, partnerships. So Chonk, which is another NFT, uh, creator, uh, they're going to partner up with Hoge and it's, uh, coming soon. So that was just announced today. Another big announcement. Uh, Chonk also has their own, uh, telegram channels, websites, uh, social media presence uh, so there's going to be like specially curated hoge nfts ranging from one to six stars um some of this stuff I'm, I'm not exactly sure what it is but you know the more partnerships hoge gets which they are getting right now uh the better here i am on the uh reddit uh hoge finance reddit page uh the BKEX uh, exchange Hoge is going to be listed on there very soon. Probably by the end of the week is what I'm hearing. Uh, that's a pretty large exchange. Uh, I think it might be the biggest one they've been listed on so far. Uh, they were listed. Uh, the first first uh, exchange was Whitebit. They were listed on. So. Uh, of course, you got Uniswap, you got Whitebit, uh, Balixy. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, that was pretty recent. Um, but yeah, the BKEX, that's going to be a good uh, listing. Probably going to have a KuCoin listing, exchange listing here in the future also. I think they are in talks with them, and it's probably very likely it's going to happen as fast as Hogecoin is growing at this moment. Uh, a lot of people are coming into it, uh, putting money in it. A lot of the wells have already sold off. And the great thing about it is uh, every time, you know, somebody sells or buys, uh, you know, 1% of the, of the coins are burned. And then uh, that amount goes to all the holders of Hoge. And the same thing with somebody, uh, uh, you know, sells some Hoge coins. Um, all those coins, or 1% of the coins, get redistributed to all of the Hoge holders. 
So a lot of that deals with the tokenomics. Uh, if you go to hoge.finance, you'll see that there's 436 billion supply decreasing. There was a thousand billion, which is a trillion originally. I believe 500 billion of those got burnt like right off the bat. Uh, like I was just saying, 1% burnt ever swap, uh, 1% distributed to holders, uh, and the swap, you know, that's buy or sell, you know, you could be buying or you could be selling when you swap, uh, you know, to get, to get more, uh, hose or to sell it off. Um, all supplies added to liquidity. Um. <clears throat> So this is a deflationary currency. There'll never be more hoge in circulation than there is now. Uh, just like I was saying, you know, it's constantly decreasing. So uh, the cool thing about it, so it's constantly decreasing and people that are holding it are constantly gaining more hoge. So uh, Dogecoin is not like this. And it's a problem for Dogecoin. Um, Let's see how many uh, how many coins Doge has, and it's a problem because the tokenomics keep Doge from rising up uh, quickly, like some other coins do. Even though it's the fifteenth ranked uh, coin, there's just such a high market cap for it right now. That's why it ranks so high. But you know, somewhere around December thirtieth, or somewhere around Christmas, I guess you could say this thing just shot up but there is no coin burn uh it's not deflationary or anything like that it's just a meme coin and that's it so you could call hoge a second generation meme coin with uh nft aspects and i mean it's just cool all around just the way that they uh they made it they created it uh what it's supposed to do um there's 93 percent let's see locked in liquidity it's probably gonna take me let me see uh these are uh liquidity pools um i don't really participate in these but you can if you want to um it just kind of gives you a breakdown you know of uh the tokens and all that stuff but I don't really mess with it. I've heard some, I've seen some people talking about it on Reddit and Telegram. I'm just more of a holder of the token itself. Um, and like I said, if you hold, you're going to get those gains. Uh, I use MetaMask Wallet, which you can download. Um, you need to go to Uniswap. Uh, and you need to click, I would go to hoge.finance. Click on the Uniswap link on their page so you don't click on a fake Uniswap link somewhere that gets access to your MetaMask wallet and steals your coins. Because um, you gotta you gotta give them permission, um, you know, when you do the swap to connect to your MetaMask wallet. So anyway, uh, you can pretty much see anything you want on Hoge.finance if you're curious or you got any questions. Um, this is the white paper. I'm not going to read, you know, all this white paper, but, uh, like I just explained in the summary, you know, how everything works. Uh, here's all the calculations. I mean, some of this is pretty complex. I'm not going to go over it, but you can go on the website, hoge.finance. You can read it. You can look at it yourself. Um, it just display, it explains the, uh, tokenomics, uh, distribution of tokens to people that hold it, uh, the people that buy and sell it. So I think there is a hundred thousand, uh, hoge, uh, fee when you sell or, uh, you do a transaction withdrawal. I think when you withdraw, um, this is a smart burn. Uh, let's see when 50% of the supply is burned, There'll be a uh, fifty percent burn, one percent of every transaction. Let's see, one percent of every transaction. When seventy percent of the supply is burned, um, there'll be 06 percent redistribution of every transaction, and seventy percent burn. Okay, so at fifty percent, there's only one percent or fifty percent redistribution. 
uh, one percent of every transaction is going to get redistributed at a when fifty percent of the supply is burned, and then when seventy percent of the supply is burned, point uh, six percent uh, of every transaction is going to get uh, re redistributed. So that's kind of how that works with the burn rate. So you can see, like, if you're holding a lot of coins, it's tempting to sell. But at the same time, you're gaining Hoge coins. So do you really want to sell that or you want to hold it? Because um, you're gaining coins and plus the value of those coins are going up. So is it really worth it to sell them? You know what I mean? Uh, if you're a well and you got in like when it was quadruple zeros, like like point zero 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 one or something or whatever. Uh, you know, and it went up to point zero 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 one and you sold... I mean, good for you, but if you would have held on, you probably will make more if you could just hold out like a couple weeks or a couple months, because this thing is just going to keep going up. Uh, I mean, just look at it. Look at look at it here. Look at it on Coin Market Cap. So here I am on Coin Market Cap. Uh, now it was ranked like twenty four hundred something. Now it's twenty three seventy. So it's definitely making its way up. Uh, we had this where we came up, we peaked, right? Uh, Sunday, March 7th. And then we came down Monday, had a little dip. Uh, let's see, we had that 0.000126 dip to 0 0.0007. Uh, a lot of people bought in on that dip, which was actually, let's see, 0 0.00038. So now we're all the way back up to, yeah, 0 0.0001. And we're kind of keeping above that mark now. Like, there's some resistance building there. Got rid of a lot of these wells. Like, you could tell, like, people got in here with, like, they spent $100, right? And then they, they dumped it, like, right here. Because they probably had, like, a billion tokens or something. And they dumped it. Then people were excited. They pumped it back up probably some more wells than they dumped so you had some wells in here so we eventually got rid of the wells you had some wells right here dumping 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 because you were hitting your highs up here so you're dumping and then we started getting rid of the wells and uh now we're just building and uh we got a lot of hodlers the community's growing uh telegram facebook uh, a lot of new partnerships, connections, a lot of new exchanges coming on board. So, you know, I'm getting a little long-winded with this part. I wanted to go over the NFTs a little bit more. Um, I went over part of the details with the NFTs, but I was just going to show you some examples of N NFTs that people have made. Um, and let's go there. So here we are on the frequently asked questions on Hoge, hogemint.com. This is the link where you go to the NFT part of their website. Um, <clears throat> you know, we went over this. There's a contract address uh, for the NFT stored on the blockchain. Um, they got some links here to guide to printing. Uh, you know, like, uh, like I just said, tokens created with this printer have the ID wallet address. That's you hash of the image submitted and location of the image recorded with the token. Um, this thing was live only till March 7th. They're doing a test mode. So it's going to pop back up again. Um, and you'll be able to use it. So, uh, da, 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 let's see. Before, okay. They got some rules here. You just need to abide by these rules. I'm not going to read them. So let's take a look at some of the NFTs that people have uh, uh, minted with this. <clears throat> so just doing a quick Google search, uh, you can see I just searched for Hoge NFT image. Uh, like this one right here came up. Looks like some Dragon Ball Z character with Hoge's head on it. <laughs> uh, here's another one. Hoge OG man. Uh, there's a bunch of them that were minted in the test phase. Here's uh, here's Hoger Simpson, like Homer Simpson. <laughs> That's really funny. And it's got the, 
address and everything on there. Um, <laughs> funny stuff, but uh, I, there was one other one I liked. It was like Uncle Sam, um, if I can find that. Here's a good one right here. Uh, don't pull out. So my daughter tells me that you invest in cryptocurrency. It's true. I'm holding over 1 billion hoge. Don't pull out tonight, son. Don't pull out. So here we are on the uh, hoge.finance uh, Facebook page. Uh, just kind of scrolling through it. You can see they got some uh, AMAs with crypto royals coming soon, March 16th. 2021 10 a.m. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. I see only buyers five hours ago. Uh, that's the BKX exchange going to the moon, to the exoplanet, maybe Mars, maybe Pluto. Who knows? We're going to get there, though. Uh, Galaxy. Bilixy, I don't know if I'm saying that right. An exchange. Uh, they listed Hoge yesterday. Um, oh, we're way over that now. I think we're like getting close to 10,000 holders. So when we get to 10,000, I think getting to 100,000 is going to go even quicker, right? Um, yeah, let's look at the uh, white bit. Uh, exchange I'm gonna look at the trading view so here we are on white bit uh, this was the first exchange that um, that hoge was listed on as you can see after all the well activity uh, started getting a little bit more organized here uh, as more people got into it we're getting close to 10,000 holders now so looking a lot better, a lot more consistent. Yeah, a little pump right here. Somebody, somebody bought a good chunk right here. It really went up, and then uh, a big dump too. You know, maybe a well or a mini well. Um, the more people that ho that hold this, the wells won't have as big as an effect because you got a lot more hodlers that are just holding. So the wells are just making all the hodlers richer. So that's all they're doing. The way the tokenomics are for this coin, they're just going to make everybody else richer. And if this thing just keeps going up, they're going to actually lose more than they could have made if they would have just held on to the coin. Um, I mean, look at it now, man. It's really bullish. Uh, especially since about, what, two, about 130 maybe yeah 115 130 up until now and look at the buying pressure on the candlestick pushing it up uh yeah that's awesome looking pretty good though let's look at the uh rsi uh rsi is getting up there um so we might see a little bit of a dip you know once we get up right in here somewhere because you can see over here where it peaked but then it just come down a little bit but then it resumed kind of went sideways sideways had a little dip right here somebody sold uh sideways but from that last dip it's been going up pretty good i don't know how we'll get uh into this overbought territory on the rsi relative strength in, strength index um we'll see we'll see what happens uh it might be interesting tonight and tomorrow so so where do we go from here with hoge uh what do expect in the future uh just the social media aspect of hoge uh or any other crypto it has a lot of power um you know with people coming into the the crypto or that particular crypto and buying it uh 
you know, any social media presence uh, that you can see that's growing a lot for a particular project or coin is a really good sign because the ones that aren't growing, they're pretty much dead. But Hoge coin, it's it's got this like uh, like cool kid on the block kind of feel like it's not really like Doge, you know, like Elon Musk uh, likes to shill that all the time. And it, actually, Doge coin is growing, still growing. But Hoge has got better tokenomics. It's got the NFT aspect. It's getting listed on multiple exchanges. It's got a huge social media presence. Um, you know, lots of partnerships. Uh, they're going to work together on different NFT stuff. Um, the, the developers are really doing a good job. Also, that's another thing, like how much information they give everybody. Cause you know, like a day might go by, like on some projects, you don't hear nothing. So I think that causes uh, some depression with the coin and the price. Um, especially at first, you know, this thing is still getting going. I think it's like six weeks old. So, you know, developers, the owners of this that started it, they did a really good job, especially on Telegram and on Reddit, on Facebook. They put all the information out there. They update it every day, every couple hours. Um, so it's a great project. And I feel pretty comfortable now because, I mean, I bought in like over here, like somewhere. And I was thinking, I mean, I held on to it like from here Somewhere up here I bought in and then it went all the way down to here and I was like, well, I'm just going to hold on because I don't want to sell now. I'll lose money. So I held on then it went back up and then I was holding here and it went down. I was like, oh shit. So, you know, I just keep, I keep holding, uh, people brought it back from the grave though. I mean, it was, it was headed down that way, but I really thought this coin uh was going to do good you know i mean just the community behind it and all the work that they've put into it and you see it's got a good it's got a good future it's it's a cool coin it's a nice project you know people are into it they like it you know um it brings a lot of excitement with it um it's just not like all technical stuff you know with it i mean it's got tokenomics and all that stuff a white paper but which is good but you know, there's like the, the cool, the cool aspect is like way, way up on the meter with this one. So, you know, I give it three thumbs up, <laughs> but, uh, I think, I think it's going to keep going up. I think we're, we're headed to, you know, the two zeros, like point zero zero one. Uh, we might hit it in the next week or two, uh, with this kind of growth. I mean, we're almost at 10,000 holders or wallets right now. When you look at it, uh, let's look at that real quick too. We'll take a look at it on the uh, ether scan. Yeah, we're at, at 9,686 holders right now. Um, and we're like in the eight thousands either earlier today or yesterday. Um, a lot of activity too. whole lot of activity. Holy crap. But, uh, anyway, exciting coin you can get in, get in on it now and uh you know be along for the ride I, i'd highly recommend it but that's all i got to say uh i hope i didn't blabber on too much uh sorry if i repeated myself a couple times but just trying to go over as much as i can on hoge coin um you know i usually go over a lot of trading bots and stuff like that i'm, I'm kind of trending over to doing some more coin coin reviews uh i want to review like celsius voyager um you know some of the different exchanges especially for u.s citizens because uh, a lot of u.s citizens can't use certain exchanges but i think i've found a couple good ones that are listed in my description if you're interested in any any of them um those are the ones that i use so anyway uh if you got any questions, be sure to comment. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm now over a thousand subscribers. And uh, ding the little notification bell if, if you like what you saw. So anyway, you guys have a good evening. Thank you.